All right, everyone, welcome back for another episode of Carnivore Trades. Today's Monday, September 20th, 2021. So markets dumping pretty hard here. SPY gapping below the 50 MA, close below that on Friday, but really confirming that now and gapping below this low pivot. We are officially in corrective mode. Too much technical damage has been done. Even if they buy this dip and rally us back up, I still believe we're in corrective mode. We've made a lower low on the on the daily time frame. Uh, and really, again, this technique I've been using really all year long. I found the top in crude doing this. We made the lower low here. We took that out right there. I said crude was going to have a pullback. Um, we had the same thing in Bitcoin. So as soon as we took out this pivot here at about 50,000, I said Bitcoin is vulnerable to correction. We had one more leg up and a leg down. Uh, the same thing on lumber. Uh, if we flip over to trading view. Yeah, so I had the cycle date on lumber, which we called the top. And then we put in this little mini head and shoulders. And as soon as we took out this pivot here, I said, look, lumber's done. It's going back to 1,000, maybe 850. And had exceeded that target and then some. And it has taken probably about a 60% haircut since then. But um, again, sometimes just simplifying the charts like that, just look for a lower low. When you have, a, when you have a, an equity or an index that is just ripping higher consistently day in and day out, Sometimes you just got to look for that one lower low and you know once you get that then you can expect a lower high and then you get that and now you know you're in a downtrend but we do have the Fed Wednesday so that's going to throw a wrench into things uh, but I do think that despite what they say um, this market is going to be in corrective mode at least for the next couple of weeks is this a major uh, long term top it's it's hard to say at this point uh, we got to see where this market closes today. And uh, we do have finally some good volume in the market, finally some good trading volume. Um, so that's confirming the move. But market's holding up at the 100 moving average for now. And we'll just have to let the charts tell us a little bit more here uh, moving forward. Market's getting a little bit of a bit off of the lows. Let's look in the intraday here. So we talked about this last week. Notice how they gapped the market up. And even the week before OPEX, they gapped the market up then sold. And then they gapped it up and sold, gapped it up and sold. And then they let the short covering rally here and then they sold it again this is classic classic distribution the only reason i didn't get more aggressive on the sell side is because it was opex week and we had that quad witch and that's really it's, it's just impossible to tell if the moves that you're seeing during an opex week are legit or if they are just opex games to burn out premium but you know we'll be talking about this in about 45 minutes i'm going to be going live for patrons only so if you want to get in on that uh, it will be patreon slash carnivore trades it's five bucks which makes it about 60 percent cheaper than amazon prime but anyways uh if you guys want to know how i got the cycle last week in the market um we're gonna be talking about all sorts of stuff in the live stream uh, i had a, a vix cycle that went out to patrons only in a live stream two weeks ago that essentially marks the bottom so if you want to see some cool stuff like that um how you can get an edge on the market and uh, become a better trader um, come check me out again patreon slash carnivore trades or you can follow me on twitter you want to try me out and just uh see me there um i post a bunch of free stuff on there all the time as well as these youtube videos of course but anyways guys take care i hope to see a lot of you in the live stream and you guys have a great rest of your night